It's true that nacho has this very unique, gooey, sticky um, texture, but to me that's fun. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> um, it's something to talk about. Natto truly is um, the Japanese cheese. It's a, a vegan version of a, you know, really complex, umami rich, like washed rind cheese. And yeah, many cheese lovers really enjoy natto and see that, that parallel in flavor profile. It's a food that I feel like more people need to have access to um, because I think it can benefit a lot of people by incorporating it into their diets. Hi, my name is Ann Yonatani. I'm the founder and owner of Nurture Food, which makes natto in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, natto is, is really a ubiquitous food, an everyday food that's most commonly eaten for breakfast. Yes, I feel like I have sort of taken on the mission of, of being a, a cheerleader, a spokesperson, um, an evangelist for natto in, the, in America. Um, and it really is because I, I truly believe that natto is just so special, so unique. I, I think if there's any food on earth that deserves to be called a superfood, it's natto. In a weird way, I'm, I'm an urban farmer, uh, an urban microbe farmer. I grow bacteria, and those bacteria eat soybeans, and they help me produce natto. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nerd. <laughs> So, this is day one of Nurture's natto making process. Every batch starts with this step, which is me hand sorting through the beans. I kind of love this step. I love this step and I hate this step, but um, there's something very meditative about the process. And our beans are beautiful. I mean, they're so clean. and. You know, 99.9% .9 of them are just fantastic. I, I like to think that every single natto bean we sell has passed underneath my eyes. I'm a microbiologist, actually, and that's how I got into this business, just being fascinated by, um, by, the, by the power of, of the microbial world. And so, you know, I'm interested in how consuming some of these good bacteria, these probiotic types of bacteria in the form of fermented foods, how that impacts human health. Our first product. So those little white dots are actually chemically pure umami tastes. I mean, there's documentation, like written documentation describing natto for over a thousand years. In the West and in America, it's virtually unknown. It makes me think that if more adults would come to Nato with just an open mind, um, a lot more of them might find that they actually like it. <laughs> this might be excessive, but I washed them 10 times. Um, you know, soak them, agitate them, and then uh, dump out the water. And then they sit in the bath overnight so that the beans are, are able to, uh, to hydrate. So they will swell to over twice, twice the weight and volume. When I first learned how to make natto from a fifth generation natto maker in Tokyo, uh, he told me that the most important step was to choose the best bean you could to start with. Um, and he was right. So the best natto soybeans um, in America are grown uh, in the northern Midwest, mostly in North Dakota. 
Um, and something that a lot of people don't realize is that most of the natto that's made in the world, i.e. the natto that's made and sold in Japan, is actually, most of it is made from U.S. grown soy. And the bulk of that also from North Dakota specifically. So we also have um, black soybeans, and then we have another uh, brown bean, which is certified organic. Um, natto soybeans are, are very different from the typical commodity soybean. Thus, they are non-GMO, sort of by definition. But soybeans that are used to make natto by any decent natto maker are really beans that have been selected, carefully selected over generations to be ideal for this particular fermentation process. What makes Nurture Natto unique? Our Natto is um, fresh. It's never been frozen. Unlike all, all the Natto that is imported from Japan is frozen before export. And that's important, one, because, you know, freezing and thawing foods can really affect its taste and its texture. But two, um, if people are motivated by eating Natto for its health benefits, Freezing and thawing also significantly damages those health benefits as well. How is it? Good, they're nice and soft, got some sugar to it, you know, they're sweet. It has at least three completely unique properties that are unlike any other food on earth. Okay, number one, it's probiotic, right? It's fermented with Bacillus subtilis. Um, which is a, a member of the healthy gut microbiome. So it's a probiotic bacteria that isn't found in any other fermented food, certainly in the West. So a second one is that natto is the most concentrated food source of vitamin K2 of any food on earth, and it beats any other by an order of magnitude. And so vitamin K2 is essential for, for bone health, um, but it's also very important for cardiovascular health. It doesn't matter how much calcium you eat, if you don't have enough vitamin K2 to help recruit it out of your bloodstream and bring it to your bones, it accumulates and causes arterial calcification and leads to heart disease. The third reason is that there's an enzyme named after natto, it's called natto kinase. And this enzyme um, is a natural blood thinner. It has uh, an enzymatic activity which actually has been shown to be capable of breaking down um, blood clots. And um, the only natural source of it is natto. Well, there are some cardiologists actually who, um, who are starting to promote natto. So, you know, we're really hoping to work with health healthcare providers to, um, to educate them and help them educate their patients. Whether your reason is the vitamin K2 or the natto kinase content or, or the probiotics, you know, why not at least give a try and eat the food, which is one, delicious, I think, two, cheaper than taking a pill, <laughs> and three, you get all three of these benefits at once. Many Japanese people have told me that our natto is the most delicious natto that they've ever had, either here or even in Japan, um, which is great to hear. I've also gone to um, the national natto competition in Japan and met many natto producers um, from Japan and also gotten really high praise from natto producers in Japan. I think the favorite moment of mine in the entire, you know, week-long process of making the natto is that moment, like, after the 
fermentation is complete, when I get to just pull back the film on, on a fresh tray of natto and just see that neba neba stickiness, those spider webs sort of coming off the, off the beans and, and sort of the, the, the more resistance I have from those strings, the better I know the fermentation is, the better the natto. So it's also sort of a quality control assessment at the same time. But I love that feeling of like the, the biofilm resisting my pull. <laughs> So yeah, we really look at this as, as a long game. Um, we're at the very beginning of it right now. But, you know, I, I suspect it may take 10 years, maybe 20 years for Natto to become um, known enough for people to recognize it as a thing, as a food. <laughs> Um, so it'll take a while and a lot of um, education and exposure like this um, to just spread the word. Our logo, um, many people comment on our logo. Uh, it's actually a a mathematical function. It's a Fermat spiral or a parabolic spiral. And I loved it because of the center of it kind of looks like a yin-yang symbol. And to me, it represents the two ingredients in our food, the, the soybeans and the probiotic bacteria, sort of coming together and synergizing and making something better, bigger, more beautiful than the two components alone.